although it's actually afternoon, but, um, good morning. Um, I just finished my treatment and doing the dishes and taking care of the dogs. And now I'm going to work on a video, a separate video from, you know, the vlogs I do every day. Because coming up is, um, CF Awareness Month. May is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. And there's a song I've been listening to on repeat for the past week, um, that I want to make a video with. Um, and it'll be out a little bit early. I'm probably going to publish it either today or tomorrow. But it's for, uh, CF Awareness Month, just like 10 or so days early. Um... So, I'm excited about that. I'm going to work on that for the next 30 minutes. We're going to head to Walmart. Um, we just need a couple of things, some cat food and stuff. So, we're going to head to Walmart in about 30 minutes. But, we'll work on that till then. The forecast for today has changed. Um, it seems like they took all the rain out. But, I think I'm going to skip the horses tonight. Uh, one, because it's muddy. And two, because as much as I love going down there, some days I do need a day off and not, you know be all that doing all that activity down there um so since i'd already planned today as like a rest day because of the rain i probably will not go down there tonight um but yeah so overall it's been a good day i slept pretty well last night and i woke up a lot less junky than i was yesterday so um i don't know if it's because uh i'm on my toby month i have a an on and off cycle toby and casein their inhaled antibiotics and I don't know if me being on my Toby month is making me more congested, or I, I really don't know. It could be none of those factors. Um, but I woke up less congested today, so that is good. Um, and overall feeling pretty good. Feeling a lot better than yesterday. A lot more human <laughs> um, and normal. So, gonna work on that video. It might be up before this vlog. It might not. It all depends on when I get it done. Um... It's always a little bit uh, more work to do separate videos besides the vlogs because I'm so so in the routine of doing these vlogs where I just make them, I edit them, and I put them out, and it's just, you know, it's part of my daily routine. I can't imagine not doing it, but doing two videos in one day with editing is a little bit more work, so not sure when it'll be up, but it'll be up at some point this upcoming week. <laughs> Probably today, but I don't know. So, gonna work on that, and I'll see you guys in a little while. So we just got back from Walmart, and if you're wondering why you're looking at this random assortment of stuff, it's because I'm going to be waging a little war. Every spring we deal with ants, it's just because we live out in the country, we just deal with ants every spring. So, I, the problem with like the traditional ant stuff is that it's toxic to the cat, so I can't use it. So, I got creative. I did my research and I got creative. So, I'm going to combine vinegar and lemon juice in here and spray it on all the entry points that they're coming in, which is just one by the door. Um, murderer! Yes, I'm a murderer of ants. Lemon is toxic and they don't like the smell of vinegar, so the two combined. And then I'm going to set out some traps with baking soda and sugar, because if they eat the baking soda, it kills them. It, like, expands inside of them. So, I will be waging a war against these ants. It will be a war that I will win. And our whole house now has a lovely odor of vinegar. I don't mind the smell of vinegar, but when it's literally over the entire house, it's a little bit overwhelming. Um, <clears throat> not only did I spray the one point where I saw them coming in, which was under the front door, but I sprayed all possible points they could try to come in. Now, they're not coming under the front door, so I sprayed uh, the windows, I sprayed the other doors, it literally just covered the house in vinegar pretty much vinegar and lemon juice um and the bait traps i set seem to be working they're eating it so i guess now we give it a couple days and see if it did anything or what apparently you're supposed to reapply the vinegar and stuff every single day so i have to stay on top of that for the next couple days but i like that i hope that this method works because <clears throat> um I chose it for the fact that vinegar and lemon juice are natural, they're safe for the cats, they're safe for people, you know, it's not like harsh chemicals to kill these things. So, um, I hope that it works, and now I'm just gonna chill. Hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodnight. I'm doing the riveting work of going through the, um, our taped recordings on DirecTV and deleting the ones that we're not gonna watch, because... Inevitably, you tape stuff that you don't end up watching. So, doing that riveting work. <laughs> um, 
and I was setting up to record Supergirl tomorrow. I set it up to record the whole series so that I won't accidentally miss any. Um, so yeah, just kind of chilling out. Probably get my treatment done here soon. And um, I'm going to try a new schedule. Um, I want to start waking up earlier in the morning, which means going to bed earlier. So I'm going to try that tonight. We'll see how it works because I've been going to bed at like 1 a.m. and that's just not working. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to go to bed by 11 tonight. Um, so I want to get my treatment done and just kind of chill. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.